on the same case. Even here, surgery is not without its surprises. X-rays obtained before surgery eliminate time-consuming probing. The support of these hospitals, 12,000 miles from home, is nothing short of remarkable. Central material supply rooms are well stocked and are constantly resupplied. Inventory compares very favorably with that of a stateside hospital. Laboratories with the most sophisticated diagnostic equipment are found at every hospital. There is sophisticated equipment for patient care, too. An example is the comp disc, a mouth cooling device used with patients unable to take liquid by mouth. The effect is to relieve thirst. Convalescent centers like Cameron Bay minimize the need for out-of-country evacuation. The medical care of wounded soldiers is only part of the job. MedCap, the Medical Civil Action Program, is a tactical employment of medical personnel. Volunteering their services during off-duty hours, doctors, dentists, nurses, corpsmen, go out to the villages and rural crossroads in an attempt to raise the level of health in Vietnam's 15 million people. In a country where medicine is perhaps 300 years behind our own, home remedies and traditional cures are frequent and often unsuccessful. The ravages of leprosy and other deteriorating diseases have in many cases never been treated and are seen for the first time by these teams. Too often there is little that can be done. When help is possible, both patients and medical personnel are rewarded. These films show better than any written report the beneficial results of MedCap. This armed convoy of more than 100 vehicles denotes the advent of the newest approach to mobile hospitals. The must has come to Vietnam as the 45th surgical hospital at Thay Ninh. Air conditioned, humidity controlled surgeries, wards and supply units foretell an even more advanced phase in military medicine. Not every type of medical care can be provided at any one hospital. Because of the distance, Evacuation from one hospital to another is usually accomplished by helicopter. Sometimes hospitals are grouped together to make best use of specialist professional capabilities, surgical lags, and secure territory. Helicopter.
doctors, hospitals, whole blood, and highly trained professional staffs are the elements responsible for the lowest fatality rate and highest return to duty rate ever recorded in a war. Those patients not returning to duty are evacuated out of country. Medical facilities in Vietnam are only a link in the overall medical chain. But every hour of every day, they prove to be the strongest. Ready for me, over. We sure do. 